Zella Zone Zero is promising us 100 pulls plus another 80 pulls for the Bang Boos, but I can't help but think that competition is so good in the gacha space. And I really hope they apply that to their other games. It has been an absolutely wild week in the gacha space with Koyoverse and Kuro as they compete for our time and our money to play their games. Zenless Zone Zero is about to come out in a few days. I am going to be playing it and the footage you see here are from beta as I was able to get my hands on that. But I digress. We've got quite the week this week and we are only going to get into a more busier week next week with the gacha game. Zenless Zone Zero is actually looking pretty promising it isn't getting a lot of hype its marketing is a little bit questionable in some cases but you can't deny that the gameplay is really really fun and that they are actually actively trying to compete with weathering waves trying to beat it out but i think there's a space for both of them and as long as they duke it out we are going to reap the rewards with more free pulls etc 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 and we can only hope that hoyoverse actually starts to realize this and apply it to their other games in Honkai Star Rail and especially Genshin Impact because that game could really 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 use a fresh coat of paint but for right now I think that game is going to stay calm right up to Notlin and we just have to be patient wait and see what they actually throw at us when Notlin releases I'm hoping I'm hoping for the best but that development side of Hoya Rose is definitely not looking too good at the moment then we go around to Weathering Waves continuously trying to fix out a whole bunch of their issues and we are getting compensated for them trying to keep our loyalty to them and being very open and i can't help but respect that but we shouldn't sleep on zilla zone zero because it is looking like they are actually putting quite a bit of effort into it and i'm saying that just from the comparisons between cbt2 and what they showed in the special program that i'm coming fresh out of watching and it's looking pretty crazy i was not expecting quite a number of things I was happily surprised by the new characters that they showed. But what really actually kind of surprised me was the endgame content. I was not expecting 60 levels worth of rewards. I honestly came in thinking that this game would be my casual gotcha game. Playing alongside Weathering Waves and Genshin Impact and just playing that very casually until I reached the endgame. But they showed quite a bit of stuff for the endgame. And I can't help but wonder if this is because of what Weathering Waves showed for their endgame. And they woke up and decided to be serious about their end game because it's looking chonky and I'm like kind of excited and kind of scared about the amount of time or the lag thereof of being able to tackle all this like this is getting to the point where I might legitimately just completely drop Genshin Impact until at least Notling comes out and just focus on those two games and I'm actually super excited about that because I can't wait to see what those two games are going to offer us to keep our loyalty our time and invest into their games whether that is through time or even monetarily because those two companies those two games Zelda Zone Zero, Weathering Waves, Kuro Games, Mahoyo are at war right now and it is going to be the best thing ever for the people that play those two games especially if you play the two games and not just are loyal to just one versus the other and I can't wait to see what's to come if you are a bit on the fence about Zelda Zone Zero I will be streaming it at launch and we'll be doing some giveaways for it so so come on by either to my YouTube channel or my Twitch to take a look at the game. I plan on speeding through all the parts that I played in beta just so I can try and pursue the stuff I haven't tackled, the story that I haven't tackled as well as trying to get a head start on it. But we'll see how that goes. I just wanted to get this out of my chest because I am actually super excited of the things that are to come over the next few weeks. And I'm just going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time, adieu and goodbye.